Hey YouTube, how are you doing? In this video we're gonna take a look at the Tomtech tablet. It's a 10 inch running Android 2.2 tablet that is stuck at the start screen. If you turn it on, only thing you see is Tomtech. So how to fix that? For my Dutch people, we kijken naar een 10 inch Tomtech tablet die je ook bij uh, Bart Smit kunt kopen. En hij hangt aan het beginscherm. Geen mogelijkheid meer om op te starten. Hoe kunnen we dat fixen? Dat alles ga je zien in deze video. Hi there YouTube, this is Puck. Today I want to talk about the Tomtech tablet. Uh, I just got this for repair. It's broken. It's not going on. It's hanging to the screen. Uh, it's only showing Tomtech. You know, you just saw the picture I created. Uh, I also made some videos, but somehow I deleted the videos on my iPhone. So stupid. But how did I fix it? It's really not so hard. What you need to do is download the firmware of my description here. And this is for the Wonder Media 8650 because that is the chip that is in this thing. This thing has a FIA, FIA chipset uh, with the Wonder Media 8650 processor. That's how it's called. Um, and um, there are guys that created firmware way back two years, three years ago somewhere in 2012 it's called uh, the Uberoid and Uberoid version 1.2 I think it was um, will install on various tablets meaning you got to know which tablet to choose so if you download the file in my description and unpack it you will have a little, uh, um, a little folder with some files in there and up there you will also find a little batch tool Windows batch tool just run it and you will find a screen opening for you with all the different tablets on it and they all have little numbers just select the number that corresponds with your tablet mine was number 18 that's for the Tomtech 10 inch tablet the one with um, 3G so in fact with the 3G adapter so the thing has no 3G 3G is not built in um, and the thing also runs Android 2.2 eh? and that is also a thing that you must keep in mind this cannot really be updated to 4 because it's way too slow for that you know for today's uh, specifications it cannot it cannot do the job but you can still fix it and I just fixed this one and it got a totally different firmware now and I'm gonna start up the tablet so you can see what I did and to fix it after you run the batch tool and select it uh, whatever you needed to select hold on oh there it goes and you selected the number then you will see that uh, the installer will finish real real fast after that you go back into the folder and then you will see the application there the uberoid application just run it and select if you uh, it will ask you if you want to format the drive of course you don't want to format it you already formatted it before you you know choose number 18 and uh, let the software copy the little file to the SD card so the, the the file is on the SD card so you cannot format it again so just uh, select there, N don't format, and choose if you have a green or a blue uh, light. Oh, there it's starting. You see that? You be right. And um, when you did that, the installer uh, will be installed to the SD card. So when that is done, only thing you need to do is turn off your tablet. If it does not want to turn off, just press the power button until it goes off and then inst insert the card and let the update be performed it will automatically detect the card and it will automatically start installing and fixing your tablet and after a little while the tablet will be fixed and you will have a market uh, installed well not market you will have the Google Play Store installed yep let me show that real fast to you here I think you could see it the Google Play Store is installed so you have uh, yeah also you have the ICE, ICS ice cream candy look and feels 
that while it's in fact 2.2 you have a lot of apps coming for you um, I see YouTube and YouTube is working I see I see many 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 apps that I will never ever use but here you can see you also have an ICS a keyboard switch and all these things so you must check it out I'm thinking that my uh, brother will really be happy you know because <laughs> he thought that this thing was you know broken and that it could not be fixed anymore so it was uh, see what you can do with it you know it was like kind of sad so now it's fixed again and he has even more than he could ever get on this tablet so peeps that is how to fix the wonder media 8650 i think it's not so hard and uh, everybody can do it so i will uh, put this in the selection of easy fixes easy android fixes uh, for the wonder media but also for all these other econ tablets and other rubbish tablets if this was not my tablet i would say let's see if it will break if i throw it i once did that with an econ i hated the device so much i mean the thing fell from the table and immediately the screen was cracked immediately out oh, man i still have the thing somewhere you know what i did with it <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know that is really a useless device but many people love it because you can do lots of little hacks uh, on it you can let uh, things happen but we don't need all these things anymore because now we have finally very good devices you know helping us out doing all sorts of things on even smaller devices ever thanks again for watching peeps if you think this video helped you out please like subscribe and Boom.